What's up, guys? Welcome back to Not Really That Famous. Um, our guest on the podcast today was uh, was Mike, the one and only, it right? Me. Um, so we we talked about a couple different things, um, beginning with the inspiration of the podcast. Like, where did this all start? And that was that was uh, that was great for me to hear because I w- like at that point wasn't even part of it. Yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> uh, from there we kind of dove into what was tough about the podcast. What <laughs> What challenged us? Uh, what challenged us? Um, the, the the changes that we had to make to just keep growing and keep getting better, and then a lot ulti- of good stuff in here, guys. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, especially for people who are looking to to start their own podcast, absolutely. And then ultimately, um, why do we even do it? We do it to, um, Fuck. <laughs> obviously for ourselves. We enjoy, we enjoy this. It's it's fun for us, but we also enjoy, um, you know, being part of something bigger. You know, communicating with other people, the people that we've met, um, tons of them, uh, the the new relationships with old friends that we've established has been great. Absolutely. Um, so, uh, you know, thanks to our guest today for uh, making time to do show. Obviously, we appreciate it, Mike. Um, if you like the show, please uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, recommend to your friends who like podcasts. Check out the website at notreallythatfamous.com. Uh, get some merch. We got the, the we got coats or hats now. Got the hats, yo. Got hats. I dig that. Get you a beanie. Especially this time of year in Michigan, right? That's what I'm saying. Um, yeah, so get yourself some merch. And uh, without further ado, uh, my friend Mike. Let's get to it. So, we're shut down again, man. I know, man. What do we this have? is I, fucked up. I was quarantined for two weeks, and we went one show out of quarantine. So, it works out, I guess, pretty good for us because... Um, uh, our kids are babysat by the same human being. Yeah. So uh, you are my extra household yeah, at this point. Yeah, so yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah. Uh, so I'm sitting in the big chair today. Feels different. Yeah. Yeah. You look good, man. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. The, the mustache. <laughs> I, I uh, oh yeah you forgot about your mustache <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah you definitely give him a good look at it because yeah it's yeah, he's it's not good it's a handlebar man yeah it's not good <laughs> it's not good it's actually technically called a horseshoe mustache I a Google horseshoe it. I googled it yeah okay um but it you're was... I'm, so I'm doing on that subject I've been doing no shave November yeah and uh, this is like the longest I've ever actually gotten in no shave november yeah. i usually get like really itchy and Week i like and... yeah i'm like okay no I'm, I'm done with this shit but so it's coming in pretty nice yeah yeah it's solid um i'm pretty i'm pretty happy with it <laughs> this was literally just designed out of a prank um yeah you you're known to do that yeah <laughs> i will i will make fun of myself so hard just to make somebody else uncomfortable <laughs> but uh <laughs> yeah it's really weird when because it's just not my style, and then you go out in public and people see it. So, um, but yeah, so sitting in different chairs today. Uh, like said, oh, but so on the on the subject of No Shave November. Yes, we um, a lot of people think that like you know I'm a very hairy individual. Obviously, yeah, I, you know this. I would say um, so. I, I'm I'm a ex- tremendously hairy individual, um, just in general. And so a lot of people think that you know I can I have a good beard. But I really don't. Like, I, I don't have a good beard. It's not as, like, full. As, Mine doesn't yeah. come in, like, thick and full. It mm-hmm. It's, like, very... It doesn't get long. Like, yeah. it just kind of comes in and it's there. And it's pretty much always there. Like, if I shave, you know, it's going to be, be there. But like 5 o'clock <laughs> shadow is <laughs> yeah. real. Yeah. And um, so, but, you know, I don't... It doesn't come in full. So, I, I, I never actually get a full beard. Yeah, this yeah. is, like, the most impressive beard I've ever had. Yeah, I, I, I was thinking that when uh, when you got here, I was like, "Damn, Mike's Mike's chin hair is getting pretty long." I don't yeah. think I've ever seen it that yeah, long. Yeah, never. So. I've, I never really, uh, never ever grow it out very yeah. much because it just doesn't come in good. But, anyways, I'm doing no shave November. What are we like? You know, twenty something days the in twenty first. Twenty first, yeah. And um, well, you know, at at the time of this, by the yeah, time you guys recording. listen, it'll be whenever. <laughs> but um, yeah, never. This is about the nicest it's been. Twenty some days. I'm pretty proud of it, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, dude, I like your chair over here, man. I'm not gonna lie. Might have to have a chair swap because I, I enjoy this. Yeah, I do. <laughs> like being over in different. the corner. Yeah, it's different. Um, I'm a little bit more comfortable with the length of the mic stand yeah. versus not having the keyboard in the way. Yeah, but, that's true. That's but I true. like my keyboard too. So I, don't resi- know. I think I, I need a longer mic stand. As the well statistician at. role is a tough role, and I, I'm not 100 percent sure I can do it. But yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna try real give hard. It a, give it a hard shot. Yeah, for um, sure. Statistician slash slash guest. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> a little bit of everything. 
So, um, so born out of not having a guest this week with the lockdown and everything like that, as w- me and Mike were kind of talking throughout the week, like which which way can we can go with this? Uh, that's a little different. And we're like, well, why don't we just literally switch chairs that we're sitting in and kind of flip we, the conversation? We a little roll bit. out the yeah. special episodes, yeah, man. It's the special now. Um, so it ha- it's been tough, dude. This the whole lockdown thing again is like unreal. And I, you almost like I feel like we got kind of out of the. We, I, didn't re- I didn't realize how serious it was. It feels more serious now, right? It does feel more serious, like with the, the amount Again. of cases and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, you know, as serious as it was. Um, I don't know. It's, just, it's, it's, it's fucking, back, yeah. It's fucking it's, crazy. Here we go again. But we always okay. make it work. Right. And so, um, like, let's flip the roles a little bit. We've been talking a lot lately about just... We do a lot with each other in our lives, right? And um, But just... For sure, different different things that are going on, and just the uh, the volume of work that has gone into this just individual project. And yeah. Mike, I mean, I'm not even trying to like fake it. Like Mike has done the brunt of all of that work, without a doubt. And so I'm kind of just I show up on Saturday, and I'm like, let's let's record in my basement. Like, <laughs> I mean, and I do some other things, but he's done the most. So I just I had like le- legitimately these are questions that I've never asked him. At all. Yeah, for sure. But they're legitimate questions that, you know, I would love to hear the answers to. So figured I'd roll through those. Um Hell first yeah. first starting our uh, it, we like we've only we dove into me a little bit with like I think Lacey. Just a tad. When we had Lacey on. She was like it was like my therapist session. She's like, Yeah, what about you? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> sure. like, but cool. yeah, we never really like I, I, I you and I both to some degree. Um, although you've been a guest on the show, so Right, right. But you know, we we tend to not uh, really weigh our opinions one way or another mm-hmm. on on any given thing. We're more about listening. You know. Yeah. That's what the that's what the whole deal is. I can fake as an extrovert, but <laughs> truthfully, I'm more of an introvert. I'm right. a quiet kind of in Absolutely. my own mind headspace kind of person, unless uh, unless provoked otherwise. So, um, but yeah. So uh, one of the questions that I had for you, because um, we talked about doing. I mean, we talked when we were kids. We talked about being on the radio together. We yep. talked, I mean, dreams and hopes and what do you want to do and stuff like that. And we touched on on that, I think, in my episode and a few others. Yeah, but yeah. What was like the kick in the ass for you? What What made it happen to get the to, to, to get, get the this pod, going? Yeah, to get the pod going. And so I wasn't even involved initially. So the, what was it? Yeah. So that's a that's a super drawn out long process, right? Um, and this this is. When I first wanted to actually start doing a podcast, so it, it kind of goes back to when I first started listening to podcasts. Right. Um, I was working at the Smokehouse in Durand here, and which was like only like three or four years ago. But when I actually started listening to podcasts like myself. I remember you always talking um, about Joe Rogan. Every Joe time I Rogan. got a work man come over, it was yep. Joe Rogan so this. And- I, I worked with this guy, and he liked the Bill Burr podcast. Um, it's the Monday Morning Podcast by Bill Burr, and Bill Burr is like this very, um, if, you know. Do you know who Bill Burr is? Yeah. I've heard of him. You, you would you would know him if you heard him his voice and seen right. him and shit. Um, he's he's got a Boston accent usually, and he's like very uh, uh, flamboyant, not flamboyant, but you know, loud type of obnoxious, opinionated. Guy. Yep. And uh, I'm not a huge fan of that. But so then I start. He start the guy I was working with because um, we were just doing like prep in the morning, all morning in a restaurant. You're like working prep um you know pretty much and you got it like the weird thing about working in restaurants you got to like keep motivated because it's very easy to sit there and like waste time and, and lose track of time and right you know not be on top of like time management um and so we would just be sitting there working all day i'm, I'm a pretty quiet person so i tend to work you know and i'm like the boss well i am the boss <laughs> so yeah. you know uh you know, i tend to be a productive person and um but that's that was a good way to past time and shit you know listen to the podcast so he started listening to that and then he would listen to joe rogan so i started listening to joe rogan um i just loved how like informative and everything it was it was just cool and they were like talking about subjects that i thought were cool and shit like so i started listening to podcasts right then you and i always wanted to be on the radio you always used to think that the radio having a radio show was you know the way to to the only way they only that's how you did it yeah Yeah. that's how you did it you couldn't do it any other way (laughs) Uh, i mean you know obviously it's like you got youtube and stuff that's been around for a while but even then we don't really necessarily when you think of a you being on youtube you think of like you know those extravagant characters they're like you know it's like a 
game or like a you know it's stupid it's not like serious right necessarily um you know for the most part there's obviously a lot of informative stuff on youtube but uh so you know that that's we, that's what we thought it was and so then I, I started listening to the podcast and i was like or the joe rogan show and i'm like oh man then i started listening to all kinds of different podcasts and stuff listen to critical role which is a super popular D D podcast uh love that and that was like when i was super into D D. so um you know, they they just basically played the game and you listen to it. You could watch it too, but I always just listen to it on a podcast app. And I just, that was a good way to pass the time when you're driving and all that type of stuff. And um, so anyways, I, I would I would listen to Joe Rogan a lot. And Joe Rogan on his show always is like, I think everybody should have a podcast. You know, he's like, I, I just want to push everyone and be supportive of things. And he's always like, you got to just fucking do it. You can't be like sitting in your cubicle and hating in your life and, you know, things like that. He's like, you just got to do, do whatever you want to do and stuff. And um, that's really where I was like, man, I could, I could do a podcast. Like, you know, it wouldn't be that hard. I could, that's probably something you could easily start up. And uh, so I remember that's when I started getting on the horn real hard about starting a podcast doing something um and i remember i would go i went to all my friends and i was like talking about it like let's do this you were you know probably one of them and the the really the only person that um wanted to do one or had the equipment to do one right now was gary fender um and i think was he a guest gary was our guest back when i think jake was still on the show or no, 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 no. no. It was you, man. Yeah, 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 it was you. What am big I talking Gary, about? Yeah, yeah. yeah, big giant Gary. That was one of the first people we yeah. did, like over I here. I think that was yep. the second person that we interviewed yep. in this studio, not as it is now, but the 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 studio. Yep. Yep. And uh, that's right. Mm -hmm. And so Gary was like, "Yeah, I got a mic. Let's do a podcast. I would love to do one." So we kind of collabed on an episode. My whole thing, my whole thing was like. The more I listen to podcasts, because I would listen to Joe Rogan show, I listen to a couple other ones. Um, I'm trying to think of like the Pat McAfee show was a big one that I listened to. Um, there's a guy who does one around here that I actually listened to more recently called Mean Spirited. That's the one Ryan was talking about when he was uh, over here. And, um, you know, there's there's so a wealth of shows on there. Like, Armchair, you ever listen to Dak Shepard's podcast? Uh, I have not sat down and listened to it, but from the people that he's interviewed you and, can tell it's yes, fucking hilarious it's, it's good shit man <laughs> yeah. it's good shit Dax it, Shepard's a bomb it's hilarious and then you know all they're basically doing is like sitting around bullshitting mm -hmm. and it's when you're famous it's easy to have a super famous podcast i mean yeah. anything you do is going to be famous yeah it doesn't really um matter. which you know that's like so when i started doing i was like i want to do a show so my initial the whole steel was like well i just want to do a podcast just to do one because i think it's fun and, um, you know, I like to sit down and talk to people, right? Sounds like a fun thing to do. And obviously, like, oh, yeah, I'd love to get famous, you know, off being a podcast, doing a right. podcast. So, got with Gary. I wanted to call, I, my first name was like, uh, oh, it was um, Confessions of the Common Folk. Because I wanted to just do normal people. It's like, right. oh, we're just going to talk about all the shit normal people talk about. But, you know, we're going to record it. And, um... So Gary wanted to do, Gary wanted to do just like two guys ha talking at the bar. So we we're like, okay. Um, so we did, we went to the bar and did conversations at the bar. That was the Gary's name that he came up with. So it was conver conversations at the bar. And uh, we did that for a little while. And then, you know, life happened. We just kind of got caught up in shit and it was hard to organize it and everything. So we stopped doing it. Um... And then, and actually I got a different job because Gary and I used to work together and I got a different job. It's going to have different hours, all that type of stuff. And then I kind of threw all that. That was when, back when like quarantine all started and shit. And then probably back in what, January? I was going to say, I think, uh, or I no, it been, that would have been December the year yeah, before. Yeah, it would have been the year before. December, around yep. the holidays. Yeah, it would have been the year before. Because I remember texting you one night and I was like, um, uh, hey man, what are you doing? You want to hang out? And it was... I'm headed up to the bar with Gary, and for anybody who does not know Mike, that is not something his, I normally do. That yeah. is not his natural <laughs> setting. So I was like, "What? Yeah, I, I, what? I, I like, never was, go to the bar no, ever. Like, no, I, you don't even really drink, man. Like, no, like, hardly. Like very rarely. Yeah, you like know, maybe a, on like vacation, I can get him to have like a beer. 
Yep. And he's like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, you know? I'll have one or two yeah. maybe, and then I'm like, ah, I'm good. Yeah. Um, that threw me off a once every year or maybe a couple years i'll have way too many a night and we'll, and <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll be at the 206 yep. shout out to 206 yeah and sing piano man singing like, piano man yeah yep. yeah take yeah you know yeah. every single time i've ever sang karaoke piano man being one of them um I, there's been three times in my life i've gotten a standing ovation every single time every single goddamn time <laughs> Is it just our wives standing and ovating? Or? Uh, no, no, no. Everybody, bro. I'm talking the whole bar. Whole bar goes nuts, bro. Um, but so, or no, actually twice. I'm sorry, twice. it's only twice. I hope to I hope to be three times soon. Maybe we'll see. Um, <laughs> but so, anyways, going up to the bar. Yeah. Doing the conf- uh, uh, conversations at the bar, which is still live. You can listen to all that stuff. It's on Facebook. Um, you can check all that. I think we're hosted on Sprecher. Pretty sure it's on a couple of the directories too, like the podcast directories. But so started doing that. Um, then I finally, uh, or excuse me, we stopped doing that. I stopped doing that with Gary because of you know issues and stuff. And Jake Murph finally um, was like, "All right, man, let's do a podcast." Mm-hmm. Jake Murph has because we were using Gary's had a microphone. Gary had you know like a hundred dollar microphone, yeah. super nice. Um, and then actually, sometime in between, I was doing both of them at one point. Uh, Jake Murph and I were like, all right, we're gonna let's do a podcast. And J- Jake Murph is our both of our brother in laws. Yeah. And uh he is what, what do you call him? A bit of an audiophile. I mean Right, he's he's very musically, musically inclined, inclined, plays all that guitars, stuff, yeah. drums, piano. Yeah, anyone who's it. listened to the show from you know the start would obviously know Jake. Um so I got got started with Jake. We did a few podcasts, had some guests on, didn't even have a name. Just called it the podcast. The podcast for a really for long time. Yeah. And uh, it's like this is the podcast. We're gonna do it, and we don't even know what the fuck we're talking yeah. about. But I just want to talk about people, and I, I wanted to talk with people and um, spend time with them. I loved. I ended up loving the the times with Gary that we spent. We just sit and talk for an hour about whatever the fuck we wanted to talk about, and you know it was a conversation. You you were you were you were required to talk. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you know it was just a fun thing to do. So loved it wanted to do more of it started doing it with jake um eventually issues cropped up again uh scheduling jake was going to leave for work i was like all right well i guess i'm gonna fucking take over this role of like the tech guy because in the initially gary was the audio guy too he was mixing the files putting them up and everything like that and then um i got all the footage with jake and i actually we recorded i think up to the point where jake left as the co-host and that's when I started having to figure everything out, which is when I actually kind of launched it too, I think. Mm-hmm. And then I brought you on board. Um, and you had even been on before. And then I was finally like, well, we need a stat guy. Zed. <laughs> Guess who's up? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At that point, like I, leading up to it all, I was new baby, all that kinds of stuff. So I was kind of like, yeah. like, ah, dude, I don't know. Like that's a lot to add onto the plate, but, um, but then finally, yeah, with it just the kind of stars aligned as far as all that was concerned. I was and, like, yeah, absolutely. and Jake was someone else who, like, when I, you know, when I approached Gary, he's like, I've thought about doing that before. Mm-hmm. And then Jake was the same way where he's like, you know, I, th- I thought about doing that before. So I was kind of the driving gear to, like, kick them into motion. Yeah. Because I'm, like, that guy. Because people are stagnant and i'm like well, the type you, of person you, who's gonna be like no let's 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 fucking do it like let's go let's you talked right about now. before too like we go on vacation where everybody's sitting around and mike's like like we gotta play a game yeah, we, like, have, well, we, have to, we have to engage in some way because because yes. i'm gonna go effing crazy just <laughs> if sitting here I, looking I at just, a fire if i just sit here i'm gonna hours. lose my mind or yeah <laughs> or i'll just zone off and you'll be talking to me and i like just don't acknowledge just you one or, or anything. Other. I'm just You're getting one in my own world. This me or that me? Like, yeah. pick one because we're going to have to roll. <laughs> That's funny. So, but, um, and that was kind of the, uh, like, eventually when I got to the point of cor- coronavirus was hitting hard, I was in, um, qu- uh, in fucking quarantine, um, which I already kind of was anyways, but I had an excuse to just actually sit down. I, I, you know, processed all the footage and, um, or all the audio and like actually packaged it up, put it up, um, you know, got my initial mic, which 
start you know i got a mic got the audio interface got everything i needed bought my software the basic setup like this you, is when i first basic. started i was using uh, audacity which is a free software which i kind of openly hate on in like a lot of podcast forums and stuff yeah. because i just don't like it i didn't have a good experience yeah. with it and um but it's partly because i didn't understand a lot of things like when you're starting a podcast there's so many things that you know you have to worry about um you know that actually can perfectly dives into my next question was okay so to answer so to answer the question in full um what really kicked me into gear was having another person to do it with right so when you try to do something anything by yourself it is so goddamn hard because you are the only person that is driving that force and when you have other people like a lot of times when i talk about the podcast or things like that like i'll say things just to get myself started and going right um and that's it it, it it's easier together gives you kind of a, yeah. a accountability partner because mm -hmm. all those other things i could have figured out inevitably um but having another person like that social aspect of driving a project mm -hmm. is just so vital like it, that if not everyone needs that but it can be very very helpful for sure for sure um and myself personally it's something that i look forward to every week you know it's like all yeah. right saturday we got the podcast um, we we usually do it in the evenings. It's, mm -hmm. it's kind of chill down time. You get the baby to bed and just kind of yep. sit you back, get to relax, have a conversation. Just, just have a conversation. It's like you're like, man, you know what's really been fucking bothering yeah. me? Yeah, <laughs> just, just tune everything out for a yeah. minute. Yeah. But that that really well uh, led into my next question was, um, all the different mediums that you've worked through, things that uh, that like you said, you've literally had to teach yourself through like either searching videos on YouTube and anything like that. I mean, what is the biggest hurdle that you've had? What's the biggest tech issue, I would even say? Because I'm not a technical person, dude. I, I'm a Stone Age. So, you know, just to figure out, like, getting a podcast going? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, I mean, technically-wise, uh, I don't know. Because most things you can solve and figure out. Right. Um, it, it, you know, through just research and all that type of stuff. Like, so, and there's a lot of different layers to specifically our podcast um no yeah no shit <laughs> so so our podcast which is not really a traditional podcast because we're um you know we're not just talking on a show we're not, it's not super it's it's a laid back sort of you know it's it's really more it's not, in the style a, of we're not a purpose driven podcast yeah yeah you know the the, the purpose is to talk to people and so yeah. in, inevitably we end up talking to tons of people and then you and I just kind of weigh our concerns <laughs> yeah, we're not necessarily like trying to sell anything we're not trying to push a view yeah, or anything like that. Yeah, we're just literally we're doing it. Just talking, which makes it tough sometimes. Yes, To yes. sit down and just literally try to pick someone's brain and pull a, a productive conversation out of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I don't even, like, usually I'm just Googling stats yeah. for the most part, and I'm like, sometimes I'm trying to find a stat in yeah, there, like, in yeah, the yeah, conversation, yeah. like, man, I don't even know what the hell to look up. Yeah. But, um, but the, to, to pull that out is tough, but I just even the, I don't know, to host it and create create something out of it um, the um the uh, you you had said something and i was gonna make a point i freaking forgot what it was <laughs> but um oh that uh the whole reason i wanted to do the podcast was because i want to talk to people which was i wanted to i, I want to hear about normal people i want to talk about the things that i was listening to on my podcasts to i wanted to do that with my friends and people that i know and so to to you know, to drive the whole thing was like, oh, we just want to talk to people. So that's where we kind of crafted the whole, the, the podcast from was I was like, well, what, what do you do? Like, what did you want to be when you were little? Oh, is that, that really? And what are you now? Oh yeah. And, um, you know, what do you like to do? What's, what's fun to you? What do you eat? Like, yeah. like what do you sleep? Like, yeah. do you have dreams? Like, do you ever have weird dreams? Yeah. What are they? Just tell me what they are, you know? And so, um, that I feel like came a little bit more naturally, right? Just, right. Uh, just, just from the type of people we even are. Um, the the technical aspect of it, the most difficult thing is obviously was obviously the audio. There's still mm -hmm. things that I don't even quite understand, no, but um, they work, and I just do let it. it. Yeah, you just let it go. I just you know it it works. So, um, but and that just came from trial and error. It literally just trial and error other people not you know back in the day when i didn't even know how to plug a what what the first step was to record something um you know plugging a microphone in or whatever 
Like we start out, I, I, I got a microphone for Christmas. You know, my, my wife got me a microphone for Christmas and it was a USB mic. So you plug it directly into the computer. And um, the big challenge there is, unless you have a specific type of microphone and a specific type of environment to house right. that microphone, it's, you'll pick up either all, not enough noise or too much noise. What, what kind of mic is that called? So the and it, and it depends on the, what the type that you want the one i got was a dynamic mic so it was a everything. it was a nope it was a radio broadcast mic it only pick up the stuff that's like right in front of it okay um which is matter of fact like that is probably uh like an old style radio mic we have like this little decoration in the studio here this is probably it seems like an old school type of radio mic it's probably like a a dynamic mic um but the the one I got, right, so you plug one microphone into the device, right, you plug it into a laptop, and then you have a software that, that you can actually look at the audio levels. Um, and it's built and designed for audio, like mixing and music and things like that. Um, because, right, you plug your microphone into your computer, and you see, like, your normal little computer microphone thing in, like, settings. It's like window settings, and that's your gives you your reading right how do you get more than one like right we i don't want to do a podcast by myself i want to do a podcast with people um so that's where i started the one the one that we used with gary gary had a nice it was a uh excuse me an omnidirectional um, a condenser microphone um that would be a condenser mic is like something you want that picks up more like crisp sound more like vocals like really big ranges of frequency and um it's like a little more detailed and high def whereas a, a, a dynamic microphone you can not necessarily that's not always the case but a dynamic microphone is something you want to be up close um it would be more like like a live stage vocal Right, because then you don't want to pick up all the you stuff in the, the room. You don't want to hear the guitars behind you. You don't want to. You just want to hear what's right, right there. there. So a more a dynamic styled microphone, and then you, they have like the the patterns in which they pick up sound, um, which is a whole nother fucking breakdown. Anyways, there's a lot of shit that goes into this fucking. Yeah, audio. no, I mean seriously, like right there, even you know. And um, so I started out with one microphone. You plug it into a computer. It's a USB signal. Well. That way you can only have one. So you need the software to read more than one. Um, and then when you're trying to run a bunch of signals through USB, you, you can't, the computer can't read that digital signal. So you have to buy an interface that lets you um, basically interface with all the audio. And that takes a different type of input. It's called an XLR input. So you have an XLR input that plugs into this, basically this little device that turns all the audio into digital signal. You can then run that when you can have several different inputs and you can, add, you know, there's tons of different effects and stuff on just the little, um, you know, the interface that you right, can use. Right. Um, and that's how you, that's how you can, it, which is what we started doing when Jake came on board. Jake had an audio interface. So we could do two inputs into his instead of having, you know, then we could have a mic for each person. Um, and then we just, you know, and then I bought a different software or a different, excuse me, a different audio interface when I had to go and do my own thing. Um, Cause Jake, you know, wanted to keep his equipment and uh, you just buy it. We got one with more inputs. So now we can run more people. We got a headphone splitter so we can all run through the headphones because um, initially we, we never used to have headphones and Zed and I, this was something that I really wanted to have. And I think Zed, um, initially I was, you know, kind of like, I just want us all to be more in the moment. Right. And I think that's worked, right? I, oh, I feel without like a doubt. I, I love the phones. Yeah. Without a doubt that between that and updating the studio down here, the, the lighting and stuff like yep. that, it just puts you more in the moment. Um, so what you're saying essentially is. There was no major specific hurdle. I, I, it's just been a bunch of little hurdles, one after the other. To and I could not pick one that is the guy was like, that's the guy. The one. Um, to kind of the more technical aspect of like setting up the studio and stuff. Right. And then you know, as we progress, we we come down here and it's a storage area, and now we've built this, right. and it's like holy fuck! Like, <laughs> can this I? Is ridiculous. Can I interject? I know what the biggest hurdle was: getting this big ass table downstairs. Oh yeah, that that was without. That kind of sucked, yeah. That was a big hurdle <laughs> for me. I would say 
moving the studio to encapsulate a video feed to where we wanted to have it to where it wasn't like a storage room still right and we're like yeah we just we just want to have a video feed and this is what we did and then this went so far in helping with our guest experience of people coming in and saying wow like this is fucking cool i yeah, really want to be a part of this project <laughs> in the in the beginning you know they're well in the beginning it was just sitting at the kitchen table and you, we have the kids running around in the background and stuff yep. like that and then it turned into okay well let's get like our own little private space so we're in now a private space but it's like a freaking card table and a couple like pop-up chair yeah you know and, and we're like all right on top of each other and like yeah like you know it's just our microphones are like fucking janky it's awkward. And falling i can hear over. my voice through yours and um and then i i 100 percent agree with that just the i mean how many days did we spend just sitting in here it's been we had problems that you you run into problems that you don't even know are going to exist right yeah like you move something to this side of the room for anybody who's rearranged their living room and they like they move the couch over here. It's like, oh, the couch would be way better over there. And they put the couch there. And they're like, well, fuck, how am I gonna watch the TV? No, it's not. Yeah, yeah, it's, like, it's, it's not better. Couch <laughs> literally can't be there. Yeah. It has to be here. So how do we move the TV to be more? Con and that's that's what it was. What we ran into into this room. Even our first iteration of of the studio was like we had the lights on the table in front of us, and we wanted to have more space, but it ended up being really cramped, and like yeah. we just didn't. It was like ah, and. You know, you do, you can't you can't get there until you start to actually do it, right? So, but then I was gonna say, right, uh, or what I kind of initially started with. There's so many different aspects to our podcast because most people who have a podcast, um, we have we have a show, right? We have this is our show, right? It's less of a podcast, more of a show, I think, even in the sense that it is primarily um you know a podcast in sense of viewership like right right viewers primarily listen that's our main medium yeah um but we also have our own website which right. is you know things that most podcasts have um but ours has, also has a shop you know not a lot of podcasts do have a shop right and we also have the youtube feed now which is right. you know a whole other aspect so the, the the website hosting is is you know its own thing in itself that i that i dealt with and um you have a lot of different mediums for doing that these days you know we could have went a bunch of different routes um i wanted to go as free as possible as i wanted to be able to 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 you know you, you hear of like oh it's easy to start a website you just don't have to know how to do it right and, and it really is um but there's a lot of different layers to it um, i like i'm sorry to interrupt but no, i like that you say uh as free as possible because we are normal people Living on yeah. normal salaries with children and mortgages and stuff like that. Yeah, so and, and the stuff that that you have been able to accomplish in and of itself, and us just in general with this, I feel like is very impressive. Because oh, dude. this is something. This is a side. I mean, it's it's a labor of love for Absolutely. sure. It's, and and considering that, um, and this is no knock to you at all, but we are like lower middle class citizens. Um, we we are not super well off no like even to the sense of like okay zed and i don't have spare rooms in our houses like no. <laughs> and i know that's uh, maybe sounds uh, when i when i picture that i just mean we don't have these large houses where it's like a lot of people's studios podcasts that you see are like an office you know zed right. and i don't have offices no, like like all. my office at my house is my living room exactly. and i have a stool that i pull up and i put my computer on <laughs> and that's, yeah. that's where i do all my shit yeah. i literally mix that's your desk I, I mix our audio or you know i record edit our audio do our transcription and edit the video all sunday in my living room watching football like, yeah. on my little makeshift desk with my kids running around my kids tripping over the cord um to my fucking computer and ripping the thing off the <laughs> right right knocking stuff over and fighting and yeah, all that yeah, stuff. all that all that stuff yeah no this, um, this room that we're in as our studio is literally a yeah, storage room that has been transitioned to it, become it, it, a studio. and it looks incredible in here yeah. you know um it, it just uh, so a lot of people do have they have studios and things like that and they have you know acu their acoustic setup it's a very nice environment and props to them yeah but um those are also i feel like the demographic of the people who you know what would want to start a podcast like that are primarily older because there's a fuck ton of podcasts like oh yeah i think there's like i, right, I, I got the stats, stats guy me. come on i'm sorry see. man <laughs> um how many podcasts are there but there there's a lot of them in the world right right and it's just gonna take me a minute. How no, many podcasts right. are there? I'm gonna go ahead and I don't know how you I'm, do that. Okay, bro. so I'm gonna <laughs> guess 
two hundred and fifty thousand. That would be almost a million. Eight hundred and fifty thousand. Right. That's just the first thing that pops up. Twenty twenty uh, podcast hosting dot org. That's that's pretty reputable. Yeah. Um, there I'm are really so many the the <laughs> the. So so there's a lot of people in the world that you know want to do right. podcasts, um, and it's not that hard to get into. Um, because really, if you're doing, most of them are like solo people too that just talk. You know, it's just one person. Um, they, <clears throat> they, we we aren't those people. That's what I'm trying no, to say. No. We we we're a little lower tiered. Um, we're and just normal. Well, not really that famous. We are normal people. We you know, yeah <laughs> don't drive expensive cars. No. We don't have expensive houses. We're just normal guys. And so. When us get you know us doing this as free as possible is a- absolutely like a, ser- a testament, man. Because um, it, it it was tough. It really was. It's a hard. It it it, it's a, it feels like a risk, even to some like extent. Um, just because you are spending money on things that are you know whatever. But um, I just look at I look at it like I spent a lot of money on like video games in my life. I spent a lot of money on like eating out. That's true. And whatever this is just another thing productive you know? and you enjoy it yeah. you just have to enjoy it and you know really believe in it mm-hmm. and um and it's not as big of a deal look yeah. at what we got so far right we've gone we've come a long but long way fun stat on that bro um if you get i was looking up this giant article and not really that famous is in the top 50 percent of podcasts in the world so wait does that put us if we're in the top 50 percent does that put us in at least what's that four hundred and twenty fifth thousandth place? Probably. So right? there is are four hundred and twenty five thousand that... podcasts that we are more involved with then, or more, more techni- Yeah, with? I guess. So if we're breaking more it down to stats, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yes, yes, that would put that would put us in four hundred and twenty fifth thousandth place. Somewhere there. Somewhere. If if I'm reading that, if I'm thinking of the stat correctly, correctly, right, exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, but um, the the site, the website that I built was all built with WordPress. It's a very easy tool to use. It's funny because this is a funny story. When I first started to try to use WordPress, it was years and years ago, and I knew WordPress was a free thing based on Google searches that I did re- researching right. <laughs> and. You know, um, so found WordPress. Well, when when you first find WordPress, the first thing you're going to find more than likely is um, WordPress.com, right? That sounds familiar. So, sorry, I had to wet my whistle. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you'll find WordPress.com. WordPress.com is a pay per month um, hosting service. They have a little builder in there that'll help you build a website, which you're going to pay per month. Um, which isn't, it's not the best solution in my, I was like, I don't want to pay per month. You know, I know there's a way that this is supposed to be really cheap and and expensive. It's supposed to be free. Um, well, wordpress.org is a free software that they're both the same company, but wordpress.org is basically just all the files you need to build your website. They turn website building into a click and do interface so you don't have to type code and things like that um it's got like a generic template that has tons of them as a matter of fact and then you just um, you can like you said yes click and, and it's pull wordpress and just... is massive and incredible yeah basically there's a plug-in for everything you download a separate little plug-in um and they make that very easy too right. so but you download wordpress and it's just a bunch of files on your computer you're like yeah well, what the hell do I do with all these files, right? And I, I click on all of them. They don't open. Like, what am I supposed to do with these? Well, you need a web server. You need a server to host your website so you can get to it. Um, so you dig into that a little bit. You find out website hosting is really, really cheap. You just pay for it by the year or two. So you pay like 100 bucks, and you get a couple years of hosting. And so it ends up being – actually, it might even be cheaper than that. I can't remember. Um, and it depends on the traffic. Obviously, if you have a big, massive s- website, coming it, in, they're going to charge you a little you, bit more. You, you, you pay more, but right. it's all built it's for it. this. Yeah. It's all set up already. Yeah. People have done it, you know, a lot. And so you figure that out. Um, and then you have to upload your files, the WordPress files, to the server. Now you can work on your website while it's up. Now um, you can install WordPress on like different, like virtual devices, and build your website beforehand and all this stuff. But um, 
for a long time, I couldn't figure out how to do that. And then one day it just clicked. <laughs> I just was on it and I was like, oh, this is how you do this. So then you have to, you know, you set all that up and WordPress is a super easy tool. You, you basically just download a, um, a plugin for anything you need. It generates like, you know, you, you click and drag your boxes onto your website and stuff. Um, has a little builder. And uh, that's, you know, you can build it into whatever you want. That's the challenging part, right? <laughs> when it comes to it is, right? You can do everything. How do you want to set it up? How do you want to make it look? Right. So, you know, and this is which what takes I, an eye. Which that takes almost. It's a skill in itself. Yeah. Bro. Yes. Skill in itself. Just and I'm to, terrible to at it. To make something aesthetically pleasing yeah. to people, especially yeah. in the That's world. That's an artist. That, it's an artist. Yes. You're an artist. In the, in the world that we live in where. Mm -hmm. Everything is about looks. It's all innovative too, man. Yeah, angles you take pictures mm -hmm. and everything like that. So, um, I mean, I got one other question for you. What was the most rewarding part about this? I, I, I have my own theories on stuff, what <laughs> things that I like about it. But um, for you, I mean, you put a hell of a lot of effort into this project and a lot of time and energy into it. So, I mean... That's does a it super giving, loaded does question. Does it keep giving back to you? Like, um, yeah, and I I never appreciate things for what they are. Mm -hmm. So, I, I you know I sometimes I need to stop and be like, this is you we, know, which we, which I do. We've you know, talked about it on the show time. before. You're like a, a legitimately driven person. Like, yep. the next thing, like I am so happy. Uh, I'm happy I did this, but what now? I got to do that. It's a, it's the next project. Yep. The next step the um you know and so th there's a lot of rewarding aspects here all the people we've met obviously is yeah. you know my number one thing like new friendships um ryan and t starting their podcast episode five friendships episode five of chainsaw mafia's mafia's out it's hilarious go watch it um yeah hanging out with people that we haven't talked to in Old forever friends. sitting friends, down yeah. and like talking to them for a long time and and you know, really like listening to what, you know, they have to say. Cause a lot of times you just, when, when you, depending on the setting, when you're talking to people, you're not really talk, you're l not listening as much as you're talking, mm -hmm. um, trying to, you know, tell a person about, you know, what you're up to or whatever. Um, one thing that's different about it for me is some of the, uh, so, like hanging out with some of our friends from the past where you're getting, they're adult like they're their adult version and yeah. that that conversation like you know i don't, I don't want to say anybody's names but this friend from way back then and the relationship that we had then is so different from the relationship i'm going to have with them for probably the rest of our lives yeah. now and just the you know the 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 points of view and and the and the thoughts that go through their minds and stuff like that it's it's like meeting an old friend gaining a new friend which is that's what I was talking about with like, the, I don't know, you know, I, I just, I never talk to people a whole lot. Um, don't, you don't keep up with them. Yeah. Right? You mentioned you're introverted. You're, you're, you're kind of, you're, you're in your thing, man. Yeah. You, yeah. You, just, you do I, your stuff. It's not, it's not on purpose. Like it's, you know, I love, I love talking to people and shit, but that's just how I am. And, um, yeah. So, you know, just getting a chance to like talk with everybody. So that's, that's been awesome. Um, doing a project with my friends is so mm -hmm. fun. Like us doing this is, yeah. You know, pro that's probably the most rewarding thing right. at this point because, you know, we don't really care who's watching and all that. Not not that we we do. We love all you. Right, guys, right. But, you guys are the best. But, you know, we, we don't, it's not something we get caught up with. We're just doing yeah. what we want to do for fun and yeah. Yeah. trying to make it cooler and better. You know, we're, right. we're like, yeah, we'll do this or do that. Um. So, yeah, that, that, that's that been the most fun. Like, you know, I've been talking about wanting to do a, a newsletter. Yeah. Um. Where I, you know, I really want to do that. We're probably going to do it. It's going to be a super fun thing. Figure so, out the logistics. Yeah, check out, check that out, guys. When I, when I drop it, um, but what else, man? There's been so many. There's been so many fulfilling things. I've I, learned so many new skills and such. So I, I know, I definitely know what it is, and you touched down on it initially with a chainsaw mafia, but it's the inspiration aspect of it. Oh yeah, I, absolutely. Because everything that we've done in here. I can tell you're proud of. Yeah. Like, oh, it, yeah. It's a lot of work. And the, the stuff that you've learned, I can see that you're proud. Like, hey, I've learned this. But then when you talk about, I mean, you initially started this thing out with Gary and then Jake Murph. And then he has a podcast now. And, yep. And, and T and Ryan. And, and now they have their own show. And it's for people who have children, you would probably understand in this, this in a different aspect. 
But, you know, when you do something and you're proud of it, you're like, hey, I did that. I'm so happy about it. But then when you teach someone or you inspire someone else to do so- something of similar ilk and then they go and do it, you're like, that's that's yeah, badass. That is pretty badass. That feels good. You can, um, you can, it's a legacy. Even from, it, it's a, it's from a the start of, of this whole podcast, me trying to do this podcast, I'm just like, we're going to do this fucking podcast. And, and a couple people kind of spurred the action. And then I just kept driving the thing, got lots of people involved and having fun. And, you know, pretty much anyone who comes and does it, they're like, Dude, that was that was so much fucking fun. Like, Happy afterwards. Like, like, yeah, yeah, we're just... We're just bullshit. It's and so like, like pulling teeth from you motherfuckers. It's fun. You here, man. It's fun. It's fun to talk to people. Like really talk to people. Yeah. It is. And, and you know, we're fun to talk to because we're good at it. We like to talk to people. We're like, yeah, well, what, what do you think about this, man? Right. What about this, yeah. bro? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, man, like I'm so happy. Just everything we've done in this show. Um, I, I, you know, I've brought so many people up and into it and having fun and doing their own things and that's definitely probably yeah the yeah. most rewarding aspect the inspiration <laughs> part of it because the... i find because that's just how i am yeah and now i finally get to actually see it really in action Ma- yeah you know? materializing in other ways yeah. you know because it used just, to be you know. i used to just be like come on I'll show you like at, you know, at work it's probably the uh, the biggest example is i love to teach people set people up um which is why i was always like a manager when i was a young mm-hmm. person i was always like the manager of the place um and now i get to see now i'm all now i'm all like do you do the shit you want to do like let's fucking do it like you want me to help you how, how you want me to help you do it because I, I will right <laughs> like i'm really good at just like bouncing ideas off and you know picking them apart right it's like oh what about this well what are you gonna do about this hmm? you're gonna market yeah oh yeah where are you gonna get the product <laughs> i love ship shipping's expensive love playing devil's advocate that is oh, a great yeah. idea, but what if this happens? Yeah, what are you going to yeah. do about this? I, I love that. that yeah, that's yeah. always fun. <laughs> Hell um, yeah, man. No, man. I and just... I got that a lot from, uh, from like, reading The Millionaire Fastlane. That was yeah. the, like, Shout a, out when, to I, that. when I read that book, I don't know, man. It's just, like, a weird thing clicked in my brain. I was like, oh, fuck. Like, this is all, this is not the way. We need to do something else. All right. So working is not the way you want to do it. If we want to be free, if we want to be truly free, we have to do something, anything else. And even so, like in starting the podcast has spurred me into, you know, doing my next project, spurred other people into doing projects. My cousin Lacey's doing, trying to do her projects. Which is awesome. Yeah, man. Too, just... that, to hear, to talk with Lacey about that and her art and stuff like that. And the fact that uh, she she's she's chasing that, um, Hell yeah, that's man. that's awesome. I think in the in the in the future too, like as we progress down um, this weird age that we live, right? Things are gonna. And I've listened to a couple podcasts right. <laughs> um, about how the world's like economy is gonna progress. And not that this is the all truth, because obviously I don't know jack shit and I'm not a super smart person. You're not but an economist. The, um, the way things are trending, it's like there's going to be more independent people doing their own things, similar to the podcast, similar to, you know, just people are going, there's going to be less massive corporations over everything and more independence amongst just about everything. Um, it's already kind of trending that way. You know, like rather than your Instagram influencer uh, making a shit ton of money off of, you know, the advertisements that plan their stuff. They're going to have more of a personal relationship with people where, you know, you're going to like, for example, something that's like already happening under the epidemic is like, you're going to pay to like watch a movie with your Instagram influencer that you like to hang out where, you know, watch on scroll past their stuff. Um, People are already doing that. You could like watch, celebrities were watching movies and you could like rent and buy their movie experience with so them. So eventually people are gonna what you're thinking or what these people are thinking is mm-hmm. eventually these people who are making a lot of money off mm-hmm. these situations are gonna say I could be making more, more if X didn't exist. And I did it myself. Myself. Yeah. Yes. So you're gonna buy you know your your YouTube person's uh, or actually, I've heard it to the extreme of you're going to use your YouTube person's credit card. So your YouTube person's going to say, hey, if you love me and my show, 
use my credit card. Sign um, up it's for. exactly the same as the rest of the credit cards, but when you use it, I get paid instead of Visa, Visa or, <laughs> or whatever. whatever. Yeah. And so, um, you know, that's like a whole nother thing. And I, I, I've a couple, I've, I heard a couple like economists on the Joe Rogan show. One of them's name was like Naval Kiat or, um, his name's Naval something. Uh, and he, he's, uh, uh, I think he's got a very heavy presence on Twitter, but you know, I'm sure you could find him with a Google search. So I'm a terrible statistician. Yeah. By the way. Right. <laughs> and, uh, it's uh, job security for me. Right. Right. right exactly. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Um, like eventually like i don't even need this motherfucker <laughs> but so rather than and i'm not saying like it you know it, like the 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 technological aspect of you know the things that you do are going to be more closely related with smaller tribes of people independent contractor type of scenarios where you know you're paying um for you know the the products that your instagram influencer or your youtube star uh uh, selling and liking and things like that. It's going to be, cause it's already, you know, kind of to that aspect in a, in a certain way. Right. Um, but it's going to be a lot more so. Right. Right. So you're, these people who, again, are making money already will find a way to monetize it more for themselves yes. yep. and away from the larger. And, com the and more and more people are doing it already. Mm -hmm. Um, case in point, there's 850,000 podcasts. In exactly. Um, there's like four or five million YouTube channels, I think. Um, these are all mediums that are growing, going to get bigger, which is why we're fucking on the train. Exactly. <laughs> we're there. And, uh, you know, I didn't, we didn't know what the fuck we were doing. And the whole idea was, hey, this is, you know, we're not really that famous. Just that, normal people. That's talking. the shtick. We're just, exactly. we're just not really that famous. Exactly. <laughs> um, so, man, I think we're just, just about out of time. Yeah. But, did uh, we, did we time out again? I don't. Watch. I can't remember when we started. Yeah, so. it gets it gets <laughs> tough because you just get ripping, and you know time kind of flies by. But um, we we always like to throw our shout outs out there. Um, so let's jump through. Them. What, what did we talk about? We talked about uh, the Union Station. Uh, Union, Union Station, Station Smoke Smokehouse. House. This is where it. That's all throwback, starts. dog. Yeah, um, where it starts. Matter of fact, uh, Union Station Smokehouse got shouted out on the uh, Chainsaw Mafia's. Uh, I think episode four. On their episodes? Yeah. They talked about it? Yeah, they went there. They The Smokehouse gave them some food, I think. They were okay. working close by. Okay. Yeah, so that's another shout-out again. Yeah. It's different owners now, but um, it is a local restaurant that we should all support, for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely, especially in times like this. And it's probably the best one in town, yes. honestly. It's, so. They got to get stuff. <laughs> um, we got uh, Joe Rogan. I mean, one of Joe the... Joe Rogan. I mean, one but, of the... Dude, honestly, it, it, there was a point where if you said, hey, why do you want to start a podcast? I would have said Joe Rogan. Right. I would have said Joe Rogan gave me the hope and drive to do a well, podcast said he, of like, my own he pushed it he pushed everybody he, he always have does he says he's like man i think everyone should have a podcast he's like everyone i talk to is interesting like i would listen to him you know um you know maybe not all the time but certainly you know if, if i seen something that i liked i would definitely listen to it if it was my friend something like-minded and exactly. uh and that's really a big reason uh, another one you mentioned was critical role critical role dude I, that's such a good show it, uh, that was when i was deep into D D which is helped me um with with drive D, D was such a big factor into my drive of what i really am today because i i've always been like this but i used to be less like this right and meaning um less like i'm like let's go let's go let's go we gotta do this we gotta do this we gotta do this. <laughs> it's like you would think i was a cokehead but i'm right i'm not um D, &D made me that way because preparing for a fun session that will potentially last from three to six hours is i wanted to have fun and do a really good fun thing and we did all the time because i put in so much work and just spelling everything out and planning ahead and that helped me with being driven on things and that that's funny that feeds right back into the inspiration role that we talked about it like when you are the dm or whatever you were literally trying to just inspire a story. Yeah. Like, I, I got this baseline. I just want to inspire you guys to figure it out. Yep. And, and see where it goes. Yep. And And to lead a story. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I definitely have been known for you for, what, over, like, 15 years now? Mm -hmm. You got into D&D. &D, we started doing that. Um, you more so than me. But 
it was right around that time your energy level your drive kind of kicked up a little bit yeah just for sure man to, to to apply more into something else than just it's something that's pure imagination and fun yeah it is it is for the purpose of fun to to and it's a weird setting because you're just you're making things up and playing a story that's you know, it's it's like a board game, but not really. There's it's no more of an ma- imagination game. <laughs> yeah. And so um, it's just a pure fun thing that you have to try to work on and make cool. And uh, that's a, it was an excellent tool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, conversations at the bar. That, that was the next the evolution. This yep. is the next step in this. That's right? my first podcast ever. Yeah. Conversations at the bar. Conversations at the bar. Um, and that drove us to the 206 bar. Uh, that Shout that out. holds a special place in my heart. Um, you know, you. given my proximity karaoke. to it, yep, karaoke. <laughs> um, and then uh, got more more technical. Uh, WordPress. WordPress. Right? Shout out to WordPress dot org. WordPress. And uh, anyone who ever option, wants to, right? if you want to build a website, you can hit me up. Uh, my social media is like all over the place. The Facebook page, you can hit me up. Mike at not really that famous. Mike at not really that famous okay. is my email. Yep. So your your services I, I, are I will for help sale. Anyone. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, for sure. I'll just help you. Like yeah. I'm. I just want people to. Um, it's such an easy tool to use. I'll send you a bunch of articles, help you set it up. The hardest thing is probably security when it comes to figuring that out. Yeah. But that I can help with that too. So, um, inspiration. So Chainsaw Mafia. Chainsaw Those Mafia guys are doing their own thing. Yeah, and it's cool to see. Oh hell yeah, dude! Yeah. I love their show. Yeah. Uh, episode five just came out. Um, go listen to it. It's hilarious. Yeah. Talk about Justin Bieber. Yep. I mean, if you can imagine T and Ryan talking about Justin Bieber, it's funny. I just, <laughs> I, T and Ryan. It doesn't matter what they're talking about. Yeah, for sure. They could man. be talking about like cooking dinner, and that shit would be through the roof. Yeah, these guys are characters, bro. Um, Millionaire Fastlane. Millionaire Fastlane. I'm telling anyone who wants to, um, you know. Hone but in and focus on the, like, the purpose right. is just freedom. It's free. It's freedom from time and money. Right, money is what drags us down. We talked about it. With mm-hmm. the, the whole reason me and Zad can even do the show is because we work our asses off every fucking right. week, and uh, the whole point is to you know be free of that. So, and you got to practice your drive to get that develop done. yourself. So read grow. a book. Read Good a book. for you. <laughs> um, and then one of our newest mediums. Uh, you we we talk about them a ton, and I don't think we ever shout them out. But YouTube, yeah, it's, YouTube it's for huge. sure. Yeah. YouTube uh, um, is a, a whole another aspect to the show that was, you know, uh, cost it costs a lot of time, but um, we really wanted to do it, so yeah. you know, we do it, and so, that's that's how it's done. So we murdered out the basement and called it. Well, yeah, let's do like, it. All right, man. let's fucking do this. We're gonna buy some <laughs> lights. Zed, Zed and I aren't lighting experts. Like, no. we figure this shit out. No. I'm I remember the, the text message stream between us. Like, what about this one? What about that one? What yeah. about this one? We're like, dude, I don't fucking know, man. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> let's just fucking buy one and see how that goes. <laughs> it's like, let's buy a fucking disco ball and yeah. just put that yeah. in there. Jesus we'll see how Christ. it goes. Um, yeah. So well, shit, man. It, uh, a lot. To, that was that was fun. Uh, I miss I'm gonna miss this chair, I think. But I, I'm looking forward to getting back in the stats. Yeah, yeah, me too. Now that I'm here, um, I'm I'm more partial to that spot. I think. Yeah, yeah. That's I like right. that spot because when we actually have a guest, you got the the eye. To it's eye. very nice. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, we should have guests for the remainder of the year. Yeah. But again, it's under quarantine, guys. We can't really, you know, like stress it it's yeah. uh, hey we're not supposed to be gathering and such but you want to come into our little tiny studio and yeah. sit really close to us yeah yeah <laughs> right no joke <laughs> no it's all about being safe and um we'll just we'll see where all this goes and yeah right, whatever we're still gonna we'll, we'll be here we'll be here we ain't going nowhere guys without a doubt I'm i've already had it so i'm good <laughs> yeah zed's fucking <laughs> in the clear yeah good bastard yeah <laughs> but uh cool man well uh, right, thanks uh thanks for visiting tonight mike that was great yeah, talking to absolutely. you absolutely it's nice uh it's it's nice to be able to take the load off a little bit yeah yeah sit back <laughs> and relax all right man see you peace well damn that was fun hell yeah i enjoyed that this uh this this new seat i love it <laughs> um but i'm looking forward to be back over there getting my stats going yeah well we'll see yeah no, we'll see <laughs> i want my seat back too um but no seriously that was a good time uh like mike Thanks for doing that with us. Uh, Dive into my life, man. Yeah, yeah. A little different, right? Um, again, if you like the show, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, recommend us to any friends that you might have. Uh, been a great uh, show for aspiring oh, yeah. podcasters. Absolutely. A lot of information in there. So, uh, you know, just uh, 
any questions you have, you know where to hit us up at. Uh, Mike at notreallythatfamous.com. Zad at notreallythatfamous.com. That's X-A-D. If yes. you don't know how to spell Zad's name, it's literally in the on the creators, but just in case. Just in case. That means. Um, but thanks, guys. Um, 100%. Uh, we love interacting with you. So any oh, questions yeah. you guys have, just let us know. Hit us up. See you. Peace. Today's episode of the podcast was brought to you by Fotein. Everyone's all obsessed with which brand of protein supplements they use. It can be hard to decide which is, which is good for you. Fotein is here to make that easy. Fotein is the protein supplement that helps your body restock on refined sugars and carbohydrates while you've been dieting and eating your whole foods. They use all generic ingredients artificially created in a lab or making sure they contain high fructose corn syrup. If you're sick of hearing about everyone's protein supplements, check out Fotein today to up your game. Sign up at Fotein.com. That's F-A-U-X-T-I-E-N. Use the promo code CHUNK to save 25% off your first order. That's C-H-U-N-K, people. We're also brought to you by TPMD. Does it ever bother you that we only wipe our butts with paper? If you got some poop on your face, would you just wipe it off with a piece of paper? No, you need TPMD. Now introducing the TPMD at home kit there. They let you customize it for the best experience to suit your needs. Check out the website, tpmd.com. Use the promo code COMFY for 20% off your first month of TPMD. TPMD is what's up, guys. I'm telling you. 20, oh, that's COMFY, C-O-M-F-Y. We also, we got a new sponsor. We're brought to you by Hype. Do you want to be pumped up for that epic event this weekend? Maybe you got a softball game or you're just going out to the bar. You want someone to make sure that everyone knows what about all those legendary moments. Hyped has your back. With an easy scheduling tool, Hyped will deliver a professional hype man for your personal use. Their hype specialist will make sure to keep you and the crowd pumped all night long. I'm telling you guys, you need this for all e occasions. Everyone will be talking about it for years to come. Uh, visit their website, hyped.com, H-Y-P-E-D. Uh, oh, use the promo code JED, half off your first event. That's what's up, JED, J-E-D. Check it out, guys. Huge shout out to the sponsors. Thank you for listening.